The interpretation committee guidance from the IFRIC will be very important to the ACCA strategic business reporting exam. So let's cover the IFRIC number two, the member shares in the cooperative entities and similar instrument. So in other words, here, let's see a particular example, is that the cooperatives may issue shares to its members. Okay, now, giving shares to the members will be uh, very commonly seen practice in such cooperative entities. So now let's say that these shares has the nominal value, which means the par value or the cost of each share will be $10 each. And the terms state that members can request redemption. So this means that members buying shares from a cooperative, which means cooperative gets money and the cooperative is required to pay this money back if members want the cooperatives to pay the money back at some point in the future. But here, according to that term, it says that the XYZ cooperative has the right to refuse redemption based on certain conditions like liquidity constraint. Okay, so, which means that I, as a member, I buy shares from a cooperative. And I can require cooperative to pay the money back to me. However, cooperative may say that if I have cash flow problem, I don't really have to repay the money back to you. Okay, so if that's the case then, let's say that the total shares Okay, so issue to its members, which means from a cooperative's point of view, gets money from the members getting $100,000. Of course, we know that an increase in cash would certainly we need to debit cash. However, we need to think about the credit side. Where does it go? Do we go to financial liability, which means we owe something to the members, or the equity, which means we do not owe something to the members. To address this issue, IFRIC number two says that, okay, we need to look at the IAS number 32, the presentation of financial instrument here. Now, according to IAS number 32, it says that the credit sides go into equity or financial liability. It really depends on whether or not you've got the unconditional right to repay, which means to redeem. So if members can require cooperatives to pay this back, which means unconditional right, there'll be no conditions in there. So if members want you to pay for that. So if that's the case then, cooperative owes money to the member, that's certainly being the financial liability. Alternatively, if there's no unconditional rights to redeem or repay, so which means that the cooperative can refuse to repay anything due to whatever reasons, which means no unconditional right at all, which means it is conditional. So if that's the case then, it will be the equity instrument. Here, we've got the conditioning when cooperative will pay this money back. So if that's the case then, it's not a financial liability, but instead, it's the share capital or equity instrument, if you like, worth of a thousand, $100,000. Okay, now make sure that the initial recognition, so recognition simply means debit and credit. We make this right. APC, accounting for your future.